Hey guys, welcome along to the Nostalgia Half Hour. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm going to play some TV Sports Basketball today on the Commodore Amiga. I don't know how familiar all of you are with this game. I'm assuming if you're tuning in, you've um, played it before. Um, if you haven't and you're a first-time viewer on my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing uh, and liking the video, if you do like it, obviously, of course. And welcome along. And welcome along to all my returning viewers. Um, apologies for not putting the video up for a while. Just been a bit of a difficult time, personally speaking, but I'm back and I'm going to play an exhibition game for you today. And there we go, let's just select. Don't know, don't think you can select. Oh, I guess that's a, oh, it's a 12 minute quarter. Okay, we'll, we'll change that. Um, let's see, yeah, six should do it. Okay, play against. I'll we'll play the balls and I'll play against Portland. Random team selections. Well, uh, the balls are my favourite team, so <laughs> that's why I picked them. But yeah, this game holds a lot of memories for me, as everything does on the Nostalgia Half Hour, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm massively into my retro gaming. Um, you know, I don't claim to have a huge knowledge as such, but, you know, it's. I've had computers in my life since like the early 80s um, when I first had my first Commodore 64. Actually, the first one I ever got was an Intellivision. Um, so, you know, I think I know a little bit about retro gaming anyway. Let's enjoy the intro first. The beautiful thing about the cinema where sports games is the presentation. You've never seen anything like it in the Commodore Amiga days. I'm assuming something's going to come up. <laughs> I didn't press the button. Oh, there we go. Charlie the Tanker. Packed, it, packed in pure 10.30 or 10.40 WT. Okay. Yes, that does not look a very healthy fish, does it? A, you always used to get the comedy sponsors. Okay, I don't think the presentation's finished yet. Here we go. It's Max McGill. Look at this the mascot in the background <laughs> entertaining the, the crowd there. Yeah, I'm not sure how good I'm gonna be at this game to be honest with you. I haven't um I haven't played this for a very long time. The good thing about the Commodore Amiga games obviously it's not like FIFA in these days where you've got like a hundred buttons to learn and stuff. It's only one button. So pretty much one button does everything. Okay. Got to insert real one. Pop that in. It's the only problem with these games. A lot of disc swapping. Hopefully nothing during the game with a bit of luck. Looks like Portland are going to be wearing... I'm guessing that's a green colour, but it kind of looks grey. Oh, I think I won that one. As far as I can remember, you tap the button to pass it, and you hold it down to obviously shoot. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. On defence, I think you press a button to steal the ball if you're close to someone. Or I think you hold the button down to jump. And again, that's pretty much it. It's, it's basic controls. Just a fun game, though. I always prefer TV Sports Football myself, but there we go. There you go, look. Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippin. I think I'm done. I don't want to change any of those players. Oh, it was them that won the tip-off. Okay, fair enough. 
Oh, got the ball. Now you don't control that bit in the middle there. Try a three pointer, why not? Whoa! <laughs> well, there's a start. Had to be Michael Jordan, didn't it? Okay, that's that's the kind of start you want to make, isn't it, really? Oh, blocks again. Though that's because my team's good. Obviously, I'm playing it. I'm playing as the '90s Bulls, which, as we all know, we're a very good team. Oh, didn't think I was passing it over there. Making this look easy at the moment. <laughs> Believe me, that will probably all change. Ooh, I'll try to steal then. Oh, he's. Oof. Ah, oh, they got it back. <laughs> They're not having a lot of joy, are they? See, I kind of expected that to be the start I was going to make to this game. Just dead eye at the moment. <laughs> this is honestly, I swear to God, I have not played this game for years. I haven't missed a shot yet. I'm actually quite happy because I really thought I was going to embarrass myself playing this game. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, I always remember, as um, as a human, obviously, <laughs> um, those free throws were quite difficult. I don't know how you know, obviously. A computer would handle them obviously I'm not a computer but yeah for me I, I always find them really difficult Ooh, got a chance to demonstrate that now. <laughs> now I think you just tap it when it's in the middle or maybe not yeah that's yeah <laughs> basically you have to hold the button down and then release it when that little green dot's in the middle, but I didn't know that, so I took too long and it just released itself. Anyway, at least I proved my point that I'm not very good at free throws. <laughs> but, you know, I'll, I'll happily... I'll happily take the lead i got at the moment. Ah! Oh. To be honest, the passing's a little bit random. Because I'm pushing in directions and it's not exactly going where I'm pushing. Right. We'll see. I think it may, it may be the number that's highlighted on the screen you'll pass to. If that makes sense to you. Whoa, slam dunk. Don't know why I'm playing this horrible grey sort of colour. It's awful quite sure why that is I know there's a way to edit the teams and everything I think also that the colour of the numbers indicates something I think if it's white it's a sort of dangerous pass if it's red it's a really dangerous pass and if it's green then it's a, a pass that will complete I think if I remember back to my playing days so what, my teammates are doing pretty well for me <laughs> Maybe the red passes will. Maybe it's the white ones that don't. Oh. Lost the ball. That's because they held me up in my own half. Good rebound. Certainly doing better than I expected to be doing. Oh, that just opened up. <laughs> Jordan showing them how it's done there. They look like a Jordan slam as well, didn't it? It's like got a lot of air under it. Oh, 
Oh, chance to do another one. Now, nah, help me out. Ah! Damn it. Let's try and actually pass that to the middle. Another great block. Oh, here's a good chance. <laughs> How the hell did I miss that? Oh, I still got the rebound. What a, that was a bad miss. Ooh, tried to go for a steal. It's been a very successful first quarter, though. It doesn't help they can't shoot for shit, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's been awful. Oh, hello. Got them here. Jordan's ripping them apart. Yeah, you can make um, changes as well. I don't really need to at the moment. I don't know. I can't remember how you tell if your players are tired, because uh, you might be able to see on the on the bench players it did say fresh. So I'm assuming there is a way to tell if your players were tired. I absolutely can't remember to be honest with you. I didn't do a whole heap of research before I started this video. It's been so long since I recorded a video, I felt like I owed it to you guys. Oh, here we go again. Let's see if I can nail one of these. Oh, perfect. Oh, maybe it makes a difference that it's Jordan. Oh, man. <laughs> maybe it really makes a difference if it's Jordan, because I made them look easy. So uh, it's just 16 seconds left of the first quarter. Oh, he's missed again. Ah, oh, just hoping I could just get a shot off at the end. But I tell you what, though, someone said to me, "You'll win the first quarter, 19 points to six." I would never have believed them. Maybe I chose a rubbish team to play against. <laughs> now that was a fancy slam. I don't know how. Oh, I see. You've got to click on a player to sub him out, I think. Don't really want to sub anybody. Unless they're dropping from exhaustion, I'm really not going to bother. Wow, locked again. Yeah, I think Jordan's wearing number four instead of his number 23 that he wears. No. Should have known not to pass that then because his number was white. I have that, thank you. Oh, I wanted to get fancy on it. <laughs> I tried to approach it from an angle and do a fancy slam dunk. <laughs> I can't believe we're only two quarters in and I'm already showboating. Yeah, that cost me two points. That's a little warning there. A little bit too early to showboat just yet. But, boy, is it fun. Another foul. Ah, oh, foul by me. Okay, fair enough. I did push forward then when I was shooting, so maybe I uh, charged into him. Okay, that's um, four points without reply. That's not good. Thought I was going to get trapped in my own end again ah oh, another bad pass is this the beginning of the end <laughs> this is where it all goes tits up I still think I got I still think I got this 
Ah. There we go. Ah, oh, I was trying to pass that as well. That would have been the perfect time to pass. She wanted to, to slam that, but that's fine, I'll take I'll take the two points. I'm not making any subs unless I have to. Ooh. Yeah, it's a shame Jordan hasn't got the number twenty three. I don't quite know why he's wearing number four. Terrible pass again. It's definitely white. If the number is highlighted white. Do not pass the ball. The moment I'm talking to myself on that one, <laughs> obviously. If you decide you want to play this game, if you like the look of it. Do not pass it when the number's white. Now that was a great pass. Scotty Pippen. Jordan was always my favourite player, but Scotty Pippen was always my second favourite player. I fell in love with the balls in the, in the early 90s when we first started getting basketball coverage on the TV in the UK. They were always my team. Damn, I wanted to pass that then. One plus one. Basically, I've got to make the first one for, to get the second one. Wow, I'm nailing this free throw for Lark at the moment. Big mouth. Oh, still got it. <laughs> Thought I'd missed. Oh, haven't quite perfected the steal yet. Obviously, there must be something you can do um, on that mini screen in the middle because you don't actually control anybody. They run automatically. But there are, I noticed there are direction and button symbols next to the players. So again, I, I'm, I'm assuming that you can command the players. Let's try it. Jordan is down left. No, I don't know. Jordan was down left. I don't. I don't quite know. <laughs> I don't quite know what that means. Well, it's not like I need it at the moment. I'm doing okay without it. Jordan's just a beast in this game. <laughs> looks a bit. I can't remember. I don't think that he's. I don't think that the team, the team names are correct, and the, that Jordan or anybody like that's in the game at the start. I think this is all what I've altered in the past. Like I said, it's my original discs from the '90s, so I really can't. I know you could change the stats, the stats, and all kinds of stuff. So, oh, it's a foul against them. Yeah, so I've pretty much probably made the Bulls team. Better than, well, not better than they were, because they were brilliant in the 90s, but, you know. I didn't actually realise that the, the balls were this good. <laughs> I've, kind of, I've kind of made the game a little bit too easy. So I do apologise for that. Well, I don't know. Maybe they, they are just that good. Maybe it isn't me that's done it. Oh, stolen. <laughs> stolen back. <laughs> that my foul? Yeah, I figured it might be. I was pushing towards him. I'm hoping that that's not making the game boring for any of you guys out there. You know, the fact that obviously I've, I might have made it inadvertently a little bit easier. I can't actually remember that. I'm sure I am the one that edited the players, but if I did it, I did it a long time ago. I only chose the, the Bulls because they're my favourite team. I can't, I mean, they just made that way too easy. <laughs> 
Why would they? Why would they step out of the way? I tell you what, just for a little bit of balance. Let's change a few players up. So I'm pretty sure if I have edited these players myself, I wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't have changed all of them. I just realised I'm just about to run out of time on the quarter. <laughs> Might not even get to see some of these players. Well, they scored against me, so. It's actually quite a close quarter looking at it. I only won it by two points. I always liked the way you could get the individual stats. I made a mockery of what I said about the free throws, didn't I? 80%. Um, let's press the button to get back to the game. I'll leave my reserves in there, my reserve guards anyway, in there for the time being. See if it makes it a bit more of a challenge. And of course, if I start losing horribly, I can always bring Jordan back on. Let's see how we go, anyway. Yeah, this guy's definitely not as quick as Jordan was. <laughs> oh, dear. Maybe you're getting a more accurate representation of how good I am at this game with the normals. Yeah, they're certainly making a bit of a comeback. It's starting to get a little bit concerning. It's always a relief when you get over that halfway line without a violation. Okay, got a free throw. I am solid as a rock in <laughs> free throw line. I never thought I'd be saying that. Can't believe I missed the first one because I didn't know what I was doing and then I've made every other one since. Hmm, that could be tricky. Let's miss that. Parted the waves there, didn't they, in front of me? I think I've got enough of a lead that even if it does go a little bit pear shaped, I still should stay in, in front, hopefully. They're certainly scoring on me a lot more than they were, though. Yeah. Poor pass. Going to score here. Look at that. It's only a nine point game now. <laughs> if I don't score the next points, I'm going to bring Jordan back on. <laughs> oh, goodness me, that was a terrible pass. They might score again here. Horace Grant's been a pretty good player, to be fair. Prove him maybe we don't need Jordan out there just yet. Three-pointer. Ambitious. 
Very ambitious. It's a big D. Oh, got him here. Well, if he's got any kind of pace. Pace ain't great. But it's good enough. All we got about seven minutes to go. I think I got this game in the bag. I might put Jordan out for the last quarter just to so you can watch the majesty that is Michael Jordan again. Oh, is that three points? It's gonna be if he pops this little one in. Grant fouled out. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh dear. Might have to bring Jordan on after all. Kind of a team full of reserves. Oh, you made a mistake there, mate. There's just something so satisfying about Slam Dunkin'. Yeah, never been great at basketball in real life. You know what they say about white men not being able to jump. According to the movie. Well, that's definitely me. Six foot tall, never slammed a ball in in my life. But in basketball games, it's very satisfying. I'm not sure why that, that guy comes up with no name. The new centre. Because he had a name when he was replaced. When he replaced the guy. For some reason his name doesn't come up. Okay, so we're nine points ahead. Dang, if that had been Jordan, I would have I would have slammed that, no problem. Could be in a bit of trouble here. <laughs> yeah, it's all gone wrong since Horace went off. Don't remember how you request a substitute. Ah, oh. come on. Oh, they did it. That's good. Let's get Jordan back out there. I wonder if Scotty Pippen could play centre. Screw it, he can now. Actually, if I swap. Oh, oh didn't get time. I don't like there being a player out there with no name. It unnerves me. I'd rather have someone playing out of position than have someone with no name out there. There we go, there's the pace difference of Jordan. Can't believe there's only five points in it. <laughs> I got absolutely wrecked on that quarter. Right, I'm going to do the change I was going to do. Oh, looks like I can't make any more changes. Okay, we'll just keep him out there. Okay, last quarter. Dang it. Could, it could be about to go to a three-point game. This is not good. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have uh, taken Jordan out. I, because I was playing well, maybe I figured it was too easy and I shouldn't have messed around with it. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. 
That's a bad one. I think I took my finger off the button way too early. Whew, at least we got away with that one. It's been a one point game. That's a bit of class. I'm happy with my team. No more messing. You can see what fun you'd have over the course of a league season. And particularly, obviously, if you're a huge basketball fan. It's a simple game, obviously, only ever one button. But, you know, the amount of things you can do with that one button is very cool. Yeah, the um, as I say, yeah, the range of stuff you can do, like with the slams and everything. I mean, obviously, a lot of the slams are automated, but it kind of depends on what angle you go into the basket at. You can change the slams by moving the joystick, you know. So while you wouldn't get as much control, say, as in as you'd get in the modern basketball games over what you do. Well, that's a different slam, you know, because I came from the front of the basket. You come from the side. Sometimes you'll do a hook, like a hook slam sort of thing. Sometimes he'll spin around and slam it over his head. In some ways, it's quite fun not being in control of it because it's kind of a mystery what, what one's going to come out of the bag. Oh, no basket. I thought he was going to get three points then. Let's try three. Oh. Ambitious. I felt like I could pull it off, but obviously not. Still got enough of a lead. We're fine. We're fine. It's not a problem. Jordan, it's Pippin. It's mainly Jordan, though. Let's be fair. Jordan's Jordan's dominating, but you know, Pippin's doing all right. Thought I'd got up enough to block that. Then I actually ended up jumping right past the ball. To be fair. Ah, oh, it's mine. Thank you. They're putting Jordan back on just, just short things up again. One minute forty five seconds. I'd like to pass it around a bit, yeah. That's the one thing I find hard in this game is the passing. I've got to be honest, even with the better players. It's knowing when to pass, yeah, you see how it's stolen again. It's knowing when to pass, you know, and, and timing that right is that's that is tricky. I think that's where a lot of the modern basketball games definitely have the edge. And obviously they have the edge in a lot of things, graphics and gameplay and all the rest of it. I understand that. I'm not stupid enough to say that this game is better than any of those necessarily. But this game can hold its own in terms of playability. But obviously there are a few aspects of it that it, where it is very basic. If you're the sort of person that likes popping the ball around and passing it and stuff... This game can be quite tricky. But still a lot of fun. I think that's why we love retro games um, as a community. I think it's because you know that you can just pick up a retro game and play it. You don't have to 
you know, study the manual and learn all the trick shots and million and one buttons and all the rest of it. You pick up a retro game and as long as it's got playability, you, you pick it up and it's straight out of the box you can play it and enjoy it, you know. All games in them days are pretty much one button. Meaning that they're all very playable. So when I was a kid, we didn't get um, a lot of basketball and American football on the TV. But, you know, you picked up one of these games, you knew straight away how to play it once you read the instructions on what buttons to press and stuff. Yeah, because they, they're simple games, but simple games done well. Like I said, which is pretty much the essence of retro gaming, isn't it, when you think about it? I mean, let's say that not all games were done well. <laughs> there were some stinkers back in the day, but... There it is. Victory. Uh, I must admit, when I started this playthrough, I did think to myself that I would probably end up embarrassed by the end of it and defeated and because it's been so long since I played the game. So I'm quite happy to win it. I would say playing as the Bulls gave me a slight edge there because they were a lot better than the other team. Uh, excuse me a sec, just got to change the disc. Pop that in. I think I'm only changing it to get the end screen up, but might as well do that. So one of the many drawbacks to these games on multiple discs is the disc swapping and everything else. Back to my Commodore Amiga games, I was always shitting a brick every time I put a new disc in because you know you never knew if you were going to get that flashing red software failure light. Every time you didn't, it was good. Don't know why the balls are playing in that horrible colour though. Yeah. Jordan 23 out of 57 points. Robinson had a good game for them though. Pretty much everything they did went through him. And here we go. There's the final stats. I believe if you press escape from here, let me just look at a few of them. See, I did turn the ball over a lot more as well, so it wasn't just about me scoring more points. But if you do have any uh, requests, anything you would like to see me play, then please pop it in the comments below. And obviously, if you've got any comments on this video in particular, or any of my other videos, please check them out and write me a comment, and I'll always reply. Um, there's not one comment that's gone up on my channel so far that I haven't replied to. So, uh, you know. Pop down your thoughts and feelings and hopefully they won't be too negative and I'll get back to you. Thank you guys so much. Take care and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much again. Bye for now.